A little while ago, we released the cartoon that we created just in DaVinci Resolve with three people in six days. Oh, so much fun. It's been so great to see you guys loving that. But I wanted to show you a little trick that we learned going through that process of optimizing our cartoon rigs. And this works for templates and uh, titles and anything that you would make in Fusion and want to play back quickly. And so if you're having kind of playback trouble with Fusion kind of chugging, this might help. So here I have a little cartoon character that we have kind of rigged and he's pretty simple, pretty easy to play back, but that is sometimes not the case when it comes to creating a cartoon character or a template or anything like that. And so what we can do to make this play back a little easier is pre-bake a lot of these elements so that they aren't being drawn with masks and everything live. We can just kind of make them into an image. And that's just a little bit easier for Fusion to think about at any given point. And this is a technique that's pretty common to visual effects. It's kind of pre-rendering things that take a lot of computer power to render so that you don't have to wait forever. So looking at our rig here, I'll just kind of break this down in pieces. We have our clear background and then we have a antenna and we have the back flipper and the body. And on top of that, we have the screen. On top of that, we have the eyes and the mouth and the front flipper. So pretty much everything before the face, everything here, other than this back flipper, let's just maybe turn this off. All of this, we could actually just make into a still because it's not being animated or anything. But how do we do that? Well, really, we're already looking at this isolated element. And so what we can do is just right click on this first viewer and go down to save image and let's save it somewhere really pro. I'm gonna save this as an open EXR file and we'll call this body iso.exr and hit save. Then we can bring this body in just as an image with a loader node. If you hit shift spacebar and type LOAD, that'll bring up the loader. This is just a way to open an external file right here in the fusion nodes. So let's grab body iso.exr and if I hit one on the keyboard, it should look exactly the same. So between merge two and body ISO, those should look the same if we did this right. Okay, so what that means is we can replace all of these nodes, all of this with this one image. And so let's just do something like, let's take a merge node and we'll take the output of our arm, put that into the background here, and we'll put the body over that like this. Hit one on the keyboard, great. And now we're pretty much all the way up here to merge two. So we could take this and just put this in right here to merge eight like that. And we should have the exact same looking rig, but we're loading that entire body in as an image. And if we're never gonna change it or move it around, really, if it's just static, why not do that? That's just going to help a lot with the playback. And we could do the same thing for the arms if they don't you know, change shape or anything like that. Basically anything that doesn't need to be animated in Fusion, we can just kind of render out real quick and bring back into the nodes just as a still. And so that's a great way to kind of optimize your templates, your cartoon characters, or whatever you're making in Fusion. Let's do this one more time with the arm just to give a little case study here. This time we're gonna actually crop this too. Let's make a crop. We're gonna take the output of the arm control right into the crop. I'll hit one on the keyboard. And I'm just gonna crop this so that we aren't making a big image. We can kind of crop this down to be just the size that we need. So maybe something like that, okay. And we'll right click on this, save image, open EXR, and we'll call this flipper.exr. And now, instead of plugging this in, we could actually just get rid of this and do a loader for our flipper and put that in here on the background of our merge. The only problem is that we need to put that over a blank background. So I'll just grab a background. Let's just put this over a clear background. I'm just making a black background, I'm making it clear. Then we'll merge this flipper over that and then put that into the merge so that we have the right sizing and everything. Kind of move this stuff out of the way. And now we have our flipper and we could put a transform node into there and we can adjust the pivot of this transform node to be right there at his shoulder, right here. And now if we take this transform and change the angle, that's gonna move his flipper around and we can move this around to wherever we want it to be like this. And now we have this other flipper, he can wave, that kind of thing. I guess we don't really need this arm either. We can just reuse this flipper. So we'll just grab another transform like this and bring the same flipper into that transform and put it over. Again, we'll take the pivot up. So it's right there where his shoulder would be. And then we'll move this over to where his arm would be. And now we can move that around and we aren't redrawing that using masks and filters and everything every time. We're just animating these couple EXR files, which is gonna play back a little bit easier. So we've optimized our template quite a bit. We have our flipper EXR coming in twice and just going through two transforms. And then we have our face controls here 
which are still being kind of drawn in real time. We have our body isolated, we have our flipper isolated, and yeah, this will play back a lot faster now just because it doesn't have to think about every single frame. It just loads that image once. Pretty cool. So this is a little bit more nerdy, but this will really help if you're trying to optimize your templates or if you're even making a cartoon. By the way, if you wanna learn more about how we made this cartoon that we put out, I outlined the whole process in all kinds of nerdy ways in a new bonus chapter that we added to Fusion Zero to Hero, which is our Fusion course for beginners. Make sure to check that out. We just put a bunch of new content on it. Oh, it's, it's so sweet. So yeah, check that out. I hope you've learned a lot. I hope you have a great day. A lot. <laughs>